Houston Air Force Base and the 351st Strategic Missile Wing. From 1965 to the early 1990s, 150 Minutemen II intercontinental ballistic missiles were on constant alert here in underground silos. Each missile could have delivered its payload in the time it takes to deliver a pizza. 30 minutes or less. Today, the Minuteman II is obsolete, and a dismantling crew is doing what it likes to call taking them out of inventory. The hard way. The crew's been here nine months, and this is the 60-second silo they've dismantled in the cornfields. With 88 to go, they'll probably be here another year. Someone watching the Whiteman crew turn missile silos into Missouri cornfields might think the U.S. was going out of the defense business. Unless they headed 560 miles west to F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Cheyenne, Wyoming, one of several operational missile fields. From Warren, a network of launch facilities holds more than 500 Minuteman III missiles. 2,085 men and women of the 20th Air Force monitor and maintain them. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Burke. Take your seats, please. The job that you do every day is the most important job you will ever do. Uh, you are the ultimate guarantor of U.S. national security. That's your job. The missile business tends to be boring, routine. The day that the missile business is not boring and routine is a bad day for the United States. Okay? Have a safe alert. Carry on. Every day, newly briefed operations crews travel to far-flung missile alert facilities to spend 24 hours underground. The 20th Air Force has performed this routine for decades. General Robert Parker is commander. 20th Air Force went operational for the Minuteman in October of 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Since that time, we've had a contingency alert for the last uh, uh, almost 35 years. We had basically the responsibility at one time for 1,000 Minuteman missiles and Peacekeeper. As a result of arms control agreements, the number of missiles have drawn down drastically we're down to about 580, going down to a, a ceiling of 500. Above ground, armed forces trained to protect hey! missile silos. The site becomes an enemy possession to be recaptured. While soldiers on the surface practice defending missiles, crews 90 feet underground rehearse the steps it takes to release them. Okay, we have an authorized message from the president to launch our missiles. Step one, I'm gonna insert the launch key. Go ahead and hit the enable switch to down. Enable switch to down, locked. Simultaneous actuation of launch switches. Go ahead and hands on switches and key. Okay, we've got our execute launch command on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Noting our launch indications. And echo eight and nine are launch in process. 10 and 11 launch in process. The Minuteman III is North America's main land-based nuclear deterrent into the 21st century. Each has a range of 7,800 nautical miles and can carry single or multiple warheads. And all 10 sorties are reporting missile away at this time. I agree. Air Force Captain Anna Killian is a senior Minuteman instructor. It's not your normal nine to five type job. 
not that many people can say that when they go into the office that they go 90 feet underground and keep an eye on 10 nuclear missiles. Every day, crews descend underground in pairs to spend 24 hours in a capsule at the bottom of a missile alert facility. Throughout the alert tour, there is one person awake and another in rest status. If an emergency were to arise, of course, whoever was up would get up the person in rest status. It can be mundane at times. Page 29. Page 29. You just have to keep vigilant. The night will eventually end. 24-hour <laughs> alerts can be monotonous, but the boredom would end abruptly if the crew had to execute a real launch. Let's go ahead and strap in and lock. Hopefully I'll never have to, but of course you mentally prepare yourself every alert. Uh, that's part of your pre-departure briefing. You try to get the right mindset for going out and doing the job if you have to. Positive launch indications. Now, microelectronics line bunker walls. And at quarter to midnight in the last hours of the 20th century, holes in the earth are still the first best human refuge. Starting early this century, soldiers tunnel.